Welcome to the Believer's Channel 2. I'm Pastor Russ, and today I'm going to be talking about God, protection, and promise of Israel. And you don't want to miss this, because what happens in Israel happens to you. Uh, what God does for Israel, He'll do for you. So learn something here today with me. Know that you are blessed when you bless Israel. Isaiah 37.6 I'm going to make this a summary. King, Assy King of Assyria was attacking Israel. Assyria had a huge army. King Hezekiah was really worried about it. And he went, went to the temple. He ripped his clothes, threw ashes and dirt on himself went in the temple, bowed down before God, and expressed how worried he was about this army and that he needed help. I need your help. I need it now. So when the Jews went to sleep that night to wake up early and get ready to go to battle, God sent an angel. In Isaiah 36, it says, Then the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 in the Assyrian camp. When the people got up the next morning, which is the Jews, there were all the dead bodies. Then they got up and went, went to fight, and when they got there, everybody was dead. When the Assyrian king heard about this, he said, that's it, that's enough for me. And he, he relented. He wasn't going to fight the Jews no more. See, when the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob when, when countries and people see him working and doing what he's supposed to do with, for the Jews and us, when you see those miracles happening that he promised way back a long time ago, we, we come to him and we give him praise and glory say, Lord God, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are our God. You help us through everything. King James Bible, Isaiah 66, 8. Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion traveled, travailed, she brought forth her children. What Isaiah is saying here is, can a nation be born in one day? I can tell you right now, pastors in the 30s and 40s, they, they didn't think this verse was possible. Uh, they didn't believe it at all. And yet... May 14th, 1948, Israel came together again in one day. And God started bringing the Jews back from all over the world and with their own language. The, the possibility of that is, I wouldn't even know how to calculate that because it's uh, what one in a zillion. It's never happened before. But when God's involved, when you see God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob performing miracles like that, fulfilling prophecy, I don't know about you, but he's the God I want. In Psalms 143.12, the King James Version, it says, And of thy mercy cut off my enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am your, and thou, I am thy servant. We are all God's servants. Angels are God's servants. We ask God to, to come protect us, to fight for us. This is two thousand years later. People are still coming against the church, more so than ever before. And we need God to help us. We need God to stand with us. We need God to, 
to march with us and hold back the enemy. You know, if it wasn't for the church, Satan would be ruling the world and we'd have a real mess. Psalms 1848, King James Version. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, though he lift me up above those that rise up against me. Though thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks to thee unto the Lord among the heathen and sing praises unto thy name. When we see God do these things, when he works in our life, we have to give him praise. He deserves it. He's the one that does it. And he gets the glory. We give him the glory. Say, God, we praise you. We give you the glory for what you have done. In Psalms 122.6, King James says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Now some Bibles in uh, the King James, it says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those that love you be sure, secure. I like this one. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. In other words, when you pray for Jerusalem, you pray for Israel, you pray for the people of Israel. When you pray for them, God blesses you. In other words, you're going to end up with more than enough in your life for everything. It's, it's, it's in uh, Genesis 12.3. It says, Those who bless you, I will bless. And those who curse you, I will curse. So you don't want to curse Israel. <laughs> That's for sure. But he, because you bless them, because you pray for them, God is going to bless you with more than enough in your life. Your health is going to be better. Uh, your finances will be better. Your family will be better. It's all going to come back to you in the form of a blessing. So pray for Israel. Now, if you don't know Jesus, and you've never accepted him as your Lord and Savior, Repeat this prayer after me right now. Say, Father God, I'm a sinner. I believe his blood will wash me clean. And I'm asking right now, Father, that you save me. Put my name in the book of life. I ask this in the name of Jesus. In Hebrew, it's in the name of every day. In Yeshua Jesus' name, Amen. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and become a subscriber. I just ask this in Yeshua, Jesus' name, amen. God bless now.